Algonquin College is one of the leading colleges in Canada. What I like most about the Siemens Microgrid project is that it provides a work integrated learning opportunity right here on campus for the students in the energy management program. The microgrid control is a key element for allowing Algonquin College to take advantage of its energy assets, those being combined heat and power, a cogeneration system that's four megawatts, on-site solar photovoltaic, as well as electrical vehicle charging and energy storage. Four megawatt cogen or CHP combined heat and power solution is being implemented. That gives the college the ability to, to go into island in mode. At four megawatts, it almost covers you know, the entire load of the campus. So the key criteria for moving forward with microgrid really came down to the financial optimization, the ability to determine what's more cost effective, to pull power from the grid at any moment in time or to use the cogen. And that's really what was used to justify the business case. Working with Siemens as a provider for all these solutions gave a very holistic approach. The college has a long-term goal to become carbon neutral. This project alone will reduce our carbon footprint by 13%. Overall, this project represented a very significant investment with very clear performance expectations. The microgrid controller allows us to optimize our energy use and ultimately save on energy costs. It also future-proofs us and gives us resiliency going forward, allowing us to change and adapt to the different types of energy sources that will become available to us in the future. What's really exciting about this project is that opportunity to bring energy and energy knowledge, sustainability literacy up to a new level within a very large population. We have thousands of students that are coming onto campus each day. How do they start to understand aspects that might have been kept behind the scenes in the past? How do you actually connect with and understand that solar array that might be on a rooftop? How do you understand electrical vehicle charging um, how do you understand renewables and how do you then make sense of those as you're making decisions going into the future?